In opening statements today in the Lori Vallow triple murder trial, and there were several new revelations. The so-called doomsday mom is accused of killing her two children and conspiring to murder her husband's previous wife. Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum takes us inside the courtroom. The prosecution came out strong with opening statements, telling the jury that Lori Vallow wanted to start a new life without her kids, and she was in a love affair, motivated by money, power, and sex. She's a little bit nervous, but that's to be expected. I don't think she's ever testified in a court, but I, I think she's doing a great job. She's sticking with the facts. Larry Woodcock confident in his wife Kay's testimony. The biological grandmother of J.J. Vallow explained to the court why she wanted her brother Charles and Lori Vallow to adopt the boy with autism, calling Lori the mom every mom wanted to be. But after Lori's late brother Alex Cox shot and killed Charles and Chandler in July of 2019, Kay lost contact. The last FaceTime, the last contact that we ever had with them was on August the 10th of 19. And that was a 35 second FaceTime. And he again was not holding the iPad or the device. Um, he just said, hi, mama, hi, papa. And then, then he looked up as if, as if someone, whoever was holding the device and he goes, gotta go, mama, gotta go. Earlier, the prosecution provided the jury a roadmap for the case that will be presented in trial. The defendant, Lori Vallow Daybell, used money, power, and sex, or the promise of those things, to get what she wanted. What she wanted was money, power, and sex. Vallow is accused of killing JJ and her own daughter, Tylee Ryan, also charged for murder conspiracy in the death of her husband, Chad Daybell's first wife, Tammy. Prosecutors say the couple thought the victims became possessed by dark spirits. She believes in life after death, and she believes she will see her deceased family, including her children, again. Vallow's defense described Lori as a good mom and wife who is deeply religious. The second witness, Brandon Boudreaux, is the ex-husband of Vallow's niece, Melanie Pulowski. Gilbert police say Boudreaux was shot at by Lori's brother in October of 2019. He says he learned of Tammy's death weeks later and did research on Chad Daybell. As, as things progressed and I came to my opinion about who it was that shot at me, I started to um, try to be proactive and... Um, hoping to get information, doing whatever I could. And uh, in that process, um, we found out that um, no one had seen from uh, Tylee or JJ. We caught up with Valo's defense after court adjourned. She seems to lean to you a lot or look over to you at a lot of things. You guys go over notes. You guys have yep. built some trust, some rapport, obviously, over the several I, months. I hope so. I hope she trusts me. The next witness to take the stand is a detective with Rexburg Police, and we've seen this investigator testify nearly three years ago in Chad Daybell's preliminary hearing for his case. Daybell's attorney was in the courtroom all day, but declined to speak with us. In Boise, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.